Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Neya for those of you who are new and in this pick a card we're gonna find out if you're torn between two lovers, who to choose. Keep in mind this is a general reading for private reading, the link is down below. Now I want you guys to focus and concentrate between pile number one, pile number two, pile number three and pile number four and then the first line that you see just in front of me will be lover A. The second pile, the second line will be lover B. So please take your time to choose whether who is lover A and who is lover B. And then choose your pile. The timestamps are gonna be down below. Take your time, pause the video if you need, use a pendulum, your fingers, your intuition, whatever that you need. And I'm gonna get started for those of you guys who choose pile number one, lover A and lover B, if you're torn between two lovers. All right, so let's find out who you, who you have to choose. I'm gonna start with lover A. So let's see, this could be for a friend, for a partnership, it could be anything, really. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords, the Strength card, Leo, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, the Solitude, the Hermit card, Virgo, interesting. Then we have Itzkiel, the Divine Channeler, the Medicine Woman, Positive Recognition, Release Your Ex, it's time to clear your energy, Communicate Clearly, and Diana, focus intention. So lover A is a person that feels there is no way out, there is no possibility to be with you, it feels completely trapped, perhaps lover A is an ex or has recently ended up a relationship, whatever is your case, maybe you guys have history together and this person is feeling really lonely without you. The hermit card could be that this person is also into spirituality and has some sort of psychic abilities or communicates with spirit or is very religious. It doesn't matter really what type of spirituality or path is chosen. This person tries to communicate with you on the fifth dimension, meaning more on, um, not on the earthly plane. This person kind of is strong, is trying to be strong, but sort of gave up on you. It seems like there is no chance I'm gonna be with this person, so I just dream about this person. There is positive recognition, this person is into the art, this person might be an artistic type of person, this person uh, had arguments with you, or sometimes you don't find together each other really well because it seems like they always want validation, they always want recognition, even from the outside. Perhaps they cheated, perhaps they flirt with somebody else, but it has to do with their own insecurity and feel like, I always need to be recognized and this person has told you you don't recognize you don't understand me and so you got offended by this and that's why it feels like a very stagnant type of energy now the problem between you two guys is that you don't communicate clearly with each other and so there is sort of lack of focus and lack of commitment there is a possibility still to be with this person but in order to be with this person you have to really communicate clearly you guys have to understand each other and and this person needs to stop and perhaps being the victim or vice versa and if you guys want to make this relationship work you have to both keep a focused intention on it so this is lover a now let's see what lover b is up to and then i'm going to tell you what you should choose or you got to figure out by yourself probably okay let's see lover b we have the death card scorpio you're dealing with a lot of envy then we have the key King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, the healer of the deck. Then we have, oh, Exhaustion, the Six of Wands. We have Divine Passion, the Eight of Emotion. Stay optimistic about your love life. Compromise and Radha, Soul Flame. Ay, 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 ay. So... Did lover B, I'm sorry if I did that breath, but lover B, I probably is your twin flame, but we're talking about a really heavy situation. We're talking about a person that needs transformation. This person could have been into addiction. This person could have been, even though the devil card is not here, but I'm just saying, this person, you don't completely trust this person because of his past. But whatever he has done in the past, that it's over and it's trying to rebuild itself up or herself up, even though it's not 
easy. This person loves you with the King of Cups as sort of unconditional love, but it's still in the healing process. The exhaustion is because you both guys exhaust your, each other sometimes. So perhaps this person is at a point of exhaustion. It's like either it's going to work out this, this time or I'm just going to not try anymore, whether it's in the relationship or just in their life in particular. There is divine Passion. This person is trying to reconnect with their life purpose, trying to find a way out from whatever situation it was in the past that was very addictive or very unhealthy. This person has extreme sexual passion towards you with Pele, the divine passion. The aid of emotion though, it seems like you are exhausted too and it seems like you will have a deep sense of longing for something meaningful in your life. Like you just know that there is something better out there. And so the angels are saying, stay optimistic about your love life, but discover yourself back. And the only way to make it work out with this person as well is compromise, just exactly like lover A. So now I understand why you guys are torn between these two lovers. It's because both of you, one, it's your twin flame. The other, it's not. It could be a soulmate, but to be honest, it doesn't make a difference to you anymore because the situation is almost the same. It's like the same pattern repeating over and over and over again. And if you're kind of like is there a chance of a lover see because I'm not feeling it like I don't know what to do oh dear it's very difficult because I think it's the same thing lover a you need to compromise and you need to understand each other and commit more to each other lover B it's very passionate this is like true love true extreme passion but this guy or girl has something that is still shady so lover B, it's more about taking a leap of faith and lover A, it's more safe to love. So let me see with the universal love deck what you should do because I feel within yourself you want to choose lover B because he's your twin flame or you feel more passion, but your mind tells you to choose lover A. So let me see for lover B what, what you should do. Yeah, this is definitely your twin flame, but we have the tantric union. Like, you guys are really into each other. You guys are really, really, really into each other. Let me see lover A. Like, that is a union on its own, but tantra is the union of everything, of above and below. And we have lover A, blessings. So you see, it's the same thing. One is the passion, the other is the safety. So it's really up to you whether you want to feel more safe and more grounded. I will choose lover A. If you just want to be swept away by this beautiful union and you know take a leap of faith because it's gonna be a wild ride, I will choose lover B. It's really up to you. Both one is a soulmate, the other is a twin flame. So you're torn between these two things. Me, I am a Taurus, I will choose lover A, but because I play safe, but that's still be my, my choice. Okay, so let's see what we've got for those of you guys who choose pile number two. If you're torn between two lover, who you need to choose? First line is lover A, second line is lover B. So we're gonna start with lover A. Let's see the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, the Chariot card, the Cancer, that's looking pretty good, Patient card, the Five of Rainbow, no, sorry, the Seven of Rainbow, Ishtar, Boundaries, Be Open to Success, Heart to Heart Conversation, Peaceful Resolution, and Faith. That's very nice. So this seems to me like a very healthy relationship for lover A. Lover A is a very grounded, stable person. It could be a heart, uh, earth sign, could be not. It doesn't really matter the sign. It could be a cancer. But this is a person that really wants to build something stable, want to move forward, has boundaries, and, uh, understands when to say no and when to say yes. Probably if you guys are not in a relationship still, you're meeting each other and so you're starting to become friends because this person knows 
knows how to take uh, his or her time to move forward healthily. This person is going to be very successful in their life. They want you to be in their life. They, you are having very healthy conversation between each other and through conversation the bond is deepening. There is peaceful resolution, there is great faith, great sense of trust, a great sense of spirituality. This person is really safe for you to love. That's what I'm seeing. So that's very good. The only downside that maybe this person has, it's that it will take a lot of time before you guys end up in a committed relationship, but simply because this person is very stable. Stable, like steady, but stable, you know, to move forward. That this person could be also a long distance relationship with the chair but they're gonna visit you if they start to become serious. So lover A looks really good. Let me see what's up for lover B. All right. We have the Ace of Cups. Nice. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Three of Cups, same. The Adventure, the Four of Rainbows. Go Outside. All right. The Five of Emotion. Soulmate. Choose a new direction, and guess who it is? Lord Shiva. I don't have a doubt anymore that it's gonna be in this reading. No, I don't do it on purpose. All right, so now you're torn between two lovers because one is your twin flame or soulmate, and the other, it's just the guy that you have met recently. So that is the problem, soulmate relationship or even twin flame, this could be more of a soulmate, but it doesn't really matter. The label come with a certain amount of struggles, karma, we could say, if you believe in past life, if you don't, they just come with a sort of um, baggage, you know? They're not necessarily easy in essence because they mirror each other 100%. Keeping in mind that obviously every relationship mirrors, mirrors to each other to a certain degree. I'm sensing that with Lover B, you've been together for a while. Maybe not a lot, but you're, you're being in love with them. But there was a third party situation or there was some sort of flirting or this person or you extended your energy to somebody else. And that's caused the disruption in this relationship. The adventure card, it means that this person is a life path number four or number five actually even more. So this person is seeking for freedom, for adventure. You guys have traveled together. You guys have memories together. That's what I'm seeing. The five of emotion, it's like there was a breakup. There was a sort of uh, discontentment in the relationship and not a breakup. And so now the spirit is saying, Ground yourself again. What is it that you choose? This is your soulmate. This is your twin flame. But are you going to choose a new direction and, you know, transcend the situation? New direction means that you're going to forgive this person. And uh, Lord Shiva, it's about Lord Shiva accept everyone, especially the outcast. So it's kind of like your person, your soulmate uh, needs acceptance. Your soulmate needs uh, that you understand that he's different. He is out of the box. He's sort of an outcast. But are you going to have the faith and the strength to accept this person completely and take them as part of you? From what I'm seeing, I think you will choose lover B for the intensity of the relationship. So this is what I got for you. But if you want to do more of a safe choice, lover A is perfectly safe. It's more of a friend though. All right, let's move on. For those of you guys who choose pile number two, if you're torn between two lover line, first line is lover A, second line is lover B. And let's see who you have to choose. Let's start with lover A. We have the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And now we have three cards for you. Three of pentacles, same. The five of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, there's been some arguments, there have been uh, not of a breakup, but of a pause. It seems like the healthy foundation that you once have built with this person completely crawled down. Then we have C, Beyond the Illusion, Lakshmi, Bright Future. The eight of action, Religious Factor, 
ask help from others' prayers and contemplation. It seems to me that this person comes from a different background from you, whether it's religious or not, it doesn't really matter. You could be long distance. You are trying to ask help from pick up cards and readers because this person, yes, you still communicate somehow with this person or you had a communication breakthrough, but whatever that is, it's kind of like this person has put you in a pause and now you're seeing beyond the illusion and that's why you're asking help for others. You're saying, even to the angels with that prayer and contemplation, you're kind of like, what should I do? What should I do? Like this person has put me on a pause. This person I thought was similar to me, but then in reality, I discovered that we don't even share the same core values. This is getting more difficult and difficult and difficult. You could be a Taurus and having Uranus coming in your sign and really showing up all the illusion that it's been. If you've been with this person, you feel like, did I ever know this person in the first place or it was all a lie? And so you, you are trying to gather information about this person. If you don't know this person, you've never been in a relationship, you kind of don't trust this person because you feel that this person is wearing a false mask and you want to go beyond, beyond the illusion. Is this person really telling me the truth or not? There is been sort of arguments and that sometimes the communication is up and down, up and down. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's really bad, sometimes you want it sometimes you don't want it and that's why you're trying to channel in spirit or asking for signs to say what who should I choose please somebody help me we have Lakshmi Lakshmi is the goddess of abundance and prosperity and bright future so this person wants to be successful in his life this person wants to be abundant but I'm not too sure that he has the capacity to do that so let's see what lover B is at and then I'm going to tell you who you should choose or who you're going to choose between lover A and lover B let me see lover B is the queen of cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio the eight of wands Isolation and tears. Uh, Sekhmet, be strong. The messenger of emotion, the beginning of a new relationship. Chemistry, listen to your intuition. And Babaji, so expansion. Interesting, this is a new person, lover B, that came into your life, lover A, you had history. This is a person that wants desperately to communicate how much they love you. They're falling deeply in love for you. This is a person that is also strong, wants power, wants success, but in a very grounded way. This is a person that is physically strong, like big. Then uh, isolation is also because this person is being in isolation for so long that now that they have met you, they're like, wow, you are my queen of cups. They might be very romantic, but still you're torn between what you know and what you might experience. There is great chemistry with this person. There is a strong magnetism. There is you asking again for solution, for intuition, and you feel very hard now, right now. Uh, it, it feels very hard for you right now to follow your intuition. This person, if you choose lover B, I don't know if it's gonna be a long-term relationship, but this person is gonna bring you a great soul expansion. It's like, it's like the universe is telling you, choose this one because no matter the outcome this person it's more open to give you an expansion to give you a lesson rather lover a it's more about i really wish i could do this but i don't know if i can and maybe you're gonna end up feeling in standby for years and then nothing will ever comes up and if, if this is this is the case you rather think like i'm gonna choose lover b because at least even if it's not gonna be long term I'm gonna learn something from this person. This person is teaching you something that you should know that will make you progress in your life purpose. Let's read this card. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings like I told you, they want to express that they love you. Uh, this person is really deeply in love with you. The, with the isolation card, this person only thinks about you. A social invitation could soon be on its way. Perhaps if you're long distance, this person is going to visit you, you're going to visit them, or you're going to meet on certain parties outside. There is a person involved who is very gentle and loving. This person is kind and loving with only the kindest of intentions. This person has good intentions. It could be you. 
especially if you're artistic, shy and sensitive. This person is shy, this person is insecure, this person could be an artist. I think you should choose lover B because I don't know exactly if you guys are gonna be long term, but there is a, a great possibility, not only a soul expansion, but of continuous relationship with this person. Lover A seems more stagnant. So I think you should choose and you will choose lover B. All right, because there is true love in lover B. Something that I didn't saw lover A that much. Okay, let's move on, guys. For those of you who choose pile number four, and I'm gonna start with lover A. If you're torn between two lovers, who you should choose? We have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn for lover A. The Eight of Pentacles, Fight, the Fire, Prosperity, the Four of Emotion new love look for a sign and the holy spirit expect miracle so this is a new person that came into your life you probably are in a marriage or in a relationship and this person came in your life out of the blue this person is stable and concrete this person is a fighter this person is somebody that is thinking hard uh they're thinking about putting the effort not only in a relationship but on in, in their work in their endeavors this person is very wealthy with a prosperity card not that it matters that much but it's in case you were wondering this person comes from a very a good cultural background it's wealthy but it's kind of like you're taking this person for granted you're kind of like oh no no no, no. I maybe I'm, I'm just already engaged or I'm already taken I am not I'm pushing this person away if this is your case otherwise you're just rejecting this person for some reason but you do really like this person even though you are preventing yourself from feeling it you really are into this person Person. and you are looking for a sign and guess why you're on this pick a card it's because you don't know what to do keep attention to the signs ask I did a video on it but ask for a specific sign from the universe not just numbers because I think you already had numbers and things like that but you are ignoring them so ask more of a specific sign and this person has had signs on you and he told you or she told you that that he saw numbers or sign or perhaps he didn't told you but he did saw them or she did saw them expect the miracle this person was a gift given for you from the universe because you want somebody that fights for love you want somebody that it's uh, stable and grounded and puts effort in their endeavors so lover a it looks pretty good it's a definitely a new love and a new gift coming from the universe so perhaps you have learned recently a lesson so let's see what we got over here for lover b the two of wands the lover's card a choice that needs to be made perhaps you're long distance you're hearing each other online we have the inner voice the high priestess pisces the guardian the two of thought another choice attraction if you believe and divine alchemy move beyond challenges wow so where should i start with this one you could be long distance you could feel that this person is your twin flame and you you're trying to get some clarity within yourself through meditation your guardian angels is also very present at this time and that it's telling you you need to make a decision what you're gonna believe what are you gonna believe that it's true you uh, are into the law of attraction so you're kind of like into manifestation and attracting signs and synchronicities like i was saying before but somehow you're receiving mixed signals about lover b and so that's why with for him you're or for her lover b you're really 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 confused and you need to meditate more about it divine alchemy means that there is a great magnetism between each other and you sort of like this person is trying to move away from uh, past the challenges that he had because i think this person is being into the dark night of the soul but still you don't really trust lover b you don't know what to do let me see what we got from here what spirits wants to tell you if you choose should choose lover B or lover A again 
the time trick union like pile number two so definitely again if you want to check pile number two you should this is a twin flame relationship lover b is your twin flame and there is definitely sexual attraction between you guys let's see lover a what we got so you're torn again between a soulmate and a twin flame exactly like pile number two Oh, what a bummer, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm so straightforward. This is kind of complicated. Let me see lover A. The goddess. Unless the goddess that it's in you. Listen, lover A treats you like a princess. Lover A really puts you on a pedestal and makes you feel like you are a goddess. But your passion, your desire, it's more into lover B. But you don't trust this person. Now, let's ask the cards if you should trust the lover B. Because trust is important. If there is no trust, there is no relationship. So that's why I want to ask... Um, deeply about it can you trust the lover be because it seems like you are really torn between these two people and torn between a decision that though your spirit guides are saying you need to choose because either is a path or the other this is your test you know regardless of, of a twin flame relationship or not and sometimes say yes you can ask for signs but it doesn't matter they're not going to give you the answer because it's a test you just have to choose have you ever watched the movies lighting doors at the end of the day the outcome over lap in the system those the same person arrives to the same conclusion at the end of the movie but the pathway was different so how you want to arrive to the same outcome that's that's how it is that's how life is the conclusion in terms of experience will be the same no, not of experience the conclusion in your awareness will be the same but the experience will be different the way you get to that conclusion will be different so do you choose lover b or not angels gone <laughs> all right i'm gonna pull one card if nothing drops all right, let me shuffle this time, lover B. You see, you don't know what to do. You really don't know. Reconsider. I think you should choose lover A. Choose lover A because lover B doesn't give you the stability that you want to experience. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. Hopefully, the reading resonated with you. Please comment down below to share your stories. Also, go to my other channel, Media Insights, to have more spiritual insights. My book and my products are in the link down below. My tarot cards, my angel oracle book. And keep in mind, you're never wrong if you follow love. Bless everyone.